everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a new channel banner art for your YouTube channel. So right now I am in PicMonkey. This is what I use to edit my thumbnails and my channel art. So I'm going to be opening up a couple other browser tabs as well just to show you how I am doing this. So the first thing I do is I click on create and then a blank canvas. Then I'm going to open a tab um, in Google and I'm just going to look up the YouTube channel art size. Alright, so the YouTube channel art size is 2560 by 1440 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to PicMonkey and I'm going to change the uh, pixels in PicMonkey to the right size of 2560 and 1440. Once I have those in, I will click make it and it takes a couple seconds usually to load up the blank canvas. So this is the blank canvas that it pulls up. So next I'm heading back to Google and I'm looking up the channel art banner template. So you definitely need a template when you are making new channel art. Uh, just because the channel banner art is pretty hard to get right. Um, so once you have the right channel template that you want to use, I'm just going to drag it over to my desktop and then I will head back to PicMonkey. Now that I am back in PicMonkey, I go to the photos and videos and then I add the photo into my PicMonkey page. Then I just click or drag the photo over and I will line that up with the outlines of the blank canvas. Now I am back on Google. Yes, there is a lot of tabs switching. Um, anyways, so now I'm gonna look up a light pink background with the 2560 by 1440 pixels. And once I find the one I want, I'm just gonna do the same with that. Just drag it over to my desktop. And then I'm going to load that onto the page by just clicking it. If you drag it over, it will completely get rid of that template. So just click that and it will pop right up. Then I'm going to line it up with the uh, template and you're going to want to line it up with the smallest template section that it has. Since I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and add the outline around it right now. I'm just going to do a normal white outline around it. If you want to see what this looks like um, with the template on, you can just pull the fade button when you are on your colored background. Now I'm just going to be adding the text, so I'm going to click text, add text, and then I'm going to type my channel name, which is Chelsea Ann. After I typed it out, I decided I wanted to put Chelsea and Ann on two completely separate lines, so I just deleted the Ann, changed the font to Bombshell Pie, and then I made the text bigger, and then I also made another text box and typed Ann out and lined that up where I wanted it on the screen. Now I'm going to be adding another text box. Um, it's in the same font, but I am going to change the font. So I'm going to type out my Instagram handle, which is Chelsea and R, and then I'm changing the font right now to Bondi XT. This is my favorite text to use on my thumbnails. Uh, it's easy to read, so I like using this text. And I'm going to drag it over to the left and head back to Google, type in Instagram logo, and then look for the logo that I want to use. I'm not worried about the background since I do have PicMonkey Pro. I pay $12.99 a month. You don't have to, um, but since I do pay the $12.99 a month for it, I'm able to remove backgrounds. If you do not pay for PicMonkey, which is completely fine, you can also do the free version. Um, but I will just click on this, remove the background, and then I will line it up where I want it to go on the left side of the template and it is good to go.
Now I'm going to be adding another text box. I'm going to be using the font Tall, Dark, and Handsome for this one. And I'm going to type out what my channel is about. So I'm going to type lifestyle, beauty, and productivity. And I'm going to drag that to the right side and line it up where I want it to go. Now that I have the text where I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color. Changing the background color is probably the easiest part. Um, it gives you some suggested or recently used ones, and they also let you either choose from the color options right here, and you can change the slider to whichever shade you want. For me, I'm gonna be using this light pink. It just sticks to what my channel usually has, so I'm gonna use that as the background color. Now that I have everything the way I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. I change it to a JPG image, and then I will download it, and I will make sure the quality is high. That way it looks better when you're looking at it from a screen or the mobile device. Next, I head to my YouTube channel, and I'll click on Branding, and it will say Banner Image. You're gonna click Change. And then you're going to go to your downloads and you're going to click on the channel art that you just created. Once you have that selected, you're going to click open. Once it opens up, it's going to show you a preview of what it's going to look like. And then it's also going to show you the section that's viewable on all devices. Once that looks good, you're going to click done. And then at the top right corner, you're going to click publish. This just saves the changes that you made. That way when you go back to your YouTube channel, you have your final result. So that is the end of this video for you. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, definitely subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys next time.